What's the temperature in this outside? Oh, it's kind of chilly. funky after brushing my teeth. I understand why you both look so confused. I forgot about breakfast. That's a crime punishable by death. They are impatient little peanuts. Okay. Keeping things completely transparent with you, I thought the biggest adjustment for one would be living with a man, but two would be going from having one dog to two dogs. No, 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 no. The biggest adjustment is learning how to keep this gorgeous girl entertained. Typer is the best girl in the world. She just requires so much more energy expenditure and entertainment versus Duncan will go take a nap. If Piper is understimulated, you can tell in the way that she acts. Honestly, she gets overstimulated easier if she's understimulated. If that makes any sense. I'm trying to learn how to keep her more busy throughout the day. She has a very sensitive stomach. If I give her a big bone, she'll get the poops. I make sure she gets walked. She has a backyard to run around in. If you have any good links to pads that I can freeze stuff on for her, I put peanut butter in her Kong and then I froze it. But then people were telling me that peanut butter is bad. I made sure it didn't have xylitol in it. You know, a good peanut butter that I can use because that kept her really busy. Piper's not used to living around cats. When she's not stimulated enough, she doesn't get aggressive. She just, she thinks Dobby is her toy. Dobby doesn't like that. I want everyone to live together in peace and harmony. Also, if you know any good dog trainers in St. Pete or Tampa or just the general region, let me know. I'm oversharing, I think. There's no such thing. First of all, I'm gonna give this to her. Here you go, girly. When Gerald lived in Georgia, he worked from home. He was able to play with her all day, every day. She grew up with him around 24 seven. And then when he moved to Florida, he has to work in the office all day, every day, all week. Today he left at like 6.30 and he probably won't be home until after five. If it's before five, that's a blessing. Which is fine now because I'm here. So like I can play with her, take her outside. You know, she's not alone. Slowly over the past year, she's just become more aggressive towards other dogs. If we're out on a walk, she'll lunge at the other dogs. And she really only listens to Gerald. Look how cute she is. I don't think it's a mean thing. I just think that she just became so understimulated being in his apartment all day alone. I couldn't go over there every single day. We would bring her to my apartment, but technically she wasn't allowed there. And I just think that year of being alone, which I know is the reality for so many dogs and people work during the day, but she just didn't grow up with that. So I think that change just triggered something in her. She's the sweetest, biggest baby. Rottweilers just have a certain stigma in society, which is so wrong by the way. They are the biggest babies, but we need her not to act like that, if that makes sense. Which is also why I get scared to take her on a walk by myself because I would hate put her in a position where I'm not able to keep her safe or like keep her from doing something that I know she doesn't want to do, if that makes sense. I don't know what I'm saying. I think I'm afraid that you guys would be like, you're taking Duncan out and not Piper. It's We will go on a family walk this evening, I promise. She has a bully stick, she's entertained. We're just gonna go on a short walk and then I'm gonna play with them in the backyard for a little bit. Nothing like good old sunshine. Whenever I'm out walking or driving and I pass a house, I'm like, I would totally buy the house. I proceed to Google it <laughs> and I get humbled real quick. It's just a reminder of why buying a house in Florida is literally impossible. She'll bring it back, she'll drop it right there, and eventually she'll leave it, and then Duncan will go get it <laughs> and bring it back. I had ordered the Primrose Anthropology Mirror, which if you do not know is stupid expensive. We were in Home Goods one day and I saw this one for like $300 versus $1,200. I don't love, love, love the top, but you could just like not look at it. 
Oh, this room is atrocious. Atrocious. I panic bought way too many clothes for Bora Bora. Ordering online since losing weight has been kind of hard because I don't necessarily know what sizes I wear. I need to pack up everything that I need to return. This was not intended to be a desk. I used it in my last apartment as like a junk drawer. My record player was on top of it. It's not really tall enough to be a desk. My legs aren't that skinny, but I've been using it as such because I haven't found a perfect desk yet until the other day. Me and Mama Kelly went out shopping and I found the most stunning, beautiful, I'll have it forever desk from Pottery Barn. I had never really been to Pottery Barn before. It is quite big and wide. I'd be able to put my vanity mirror on there, my computer, the sewing machine that I haven't had time to learn how to use yet. It's gonna take up pretty much this whole wall. I'll probably move this to this wall to cover up these outlets and put the desk along that wall. The nightstand that's in my bedroom in my apartment, I'm gonna put here. I also just like don't know if I should move this chair back against the wall. I need design tips for this room. I just have so much to work on in this room. I've started to decorate the rest of the house. This room is gonna be last. We did get a hidden litter box because Piper loves to eat cat poop. We aren't sure if we're gonna keep this couch or get a smaller one. I got this shelf from Ikea and Gerald built it yesterday. It probably won't stay right here or we'll add stuff or move these. Like that lamp isn't gonna stay there, but for now we need a lamp. I'm obsessed with it. I put Dobby up here. I need to bring some of my other Legos and put them here. It's too small for my Diagon Alley, but I have so many little sets that I wanna build once I finish the Diagon Alley that I can put on here. Oh, we got blinds installed. I'm trying to think of all the different updates. Mm, the guest room. We also got this bed frame from Ikea. I need to put the sheets that I got in the water washer because this is going to be the girliest room. Not us currently using table trays as nightstands. I'm going to get drapes for the side of this. I need to find the perfect rug for in here. The sheets are in here. Where did they get put is the question. I didn't have laundry on my schedule, but it needs to be. Here they are. One of these is the duvet cover. My mom bought these for me for Christmas. They kind of look like the ones that I had in my room in my apartment. I have those sheets and this set for that guest room. Gerald decorated a guest room and I'm decorating a guest room. They're from Love Shack Fancy. I would love to make that bed in there. Also, Andrew stays here every week for the podcast. It comes Tuesday nights and we film Wednesdays. Look how pretty. I'm such a grandma. This is so stunning. Ooh. Oh, is this the duvet? Do I even have a duvet insert? I'm somebody who personally never washes sheets before I use them. You guys have scolded me enough times. I don't want to get rid of this. This is so cute. Little bag. I'll probably get rid of it because I have to stop being such a hoarder. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, you guys have scolded me enough times that I am washing the sheets, okay? And they're for a guest. Things that I think are okay for me, I wouldn't force upon a guest. That was the duvet cover. These are the sheets. They just have little stripes on them with the flowers. Beautiful. Oh, that was a lot. I don't put fabric softener in everything. Sheets I do. I keep hearing that fabric softener isn't necessary. So I don't use it on all my clothes, but I also never fact checked that. And I'm pretty sure I heard it on TikTok. I have learned to fact check TikTok. Not everything you hear on TikTok, in fact, not even 10% of what you hear on TikTok is usually true. Is this considered bulky items? Sure. I'll see you soon. It's been a long day and I'm hungry, but I'm also feeling a little bit lazy, which means it's the perfect time to talk about one of my favorite sponsors of all time, Factor. Factor's delicious, ready to eat meals are making eating better every day easy. Wherever tomorrow takes you, be ready with pre-prepared, chef-crafted and dietitian approved meals delivered right to your door. You'll have over 35 different options a week to choose from, including keto, calorie smart, vegan, veggie, and more. And there's even more to enjoy with over 55 nutrition packed add-ons that help make your weekly meal planning even more delicious. I've said so many times how much Factor has helped me with my binging problem. It makes my life so much easier to have meals that are ready for me to eat and are balanced. A lot of the times that I end up overeating, it's out of convenience or eating bad food. It's because I need something fast and convenient, which is exactly what Factor is. I also travel a lot and Factor is super flexible. I can easily adjust my order size if I have people visiting me and I can also skip a week if I'm gonna be out of town. It's also my secret weapon when I need to go to the store or go shopping. I don't find myself eating out as much because I can just eat super quick before I go. She's really hot right now. Honestly, Factor is the reason I discovered that I like green beans. Today we're having Parmesan and sun-dried tomato chicken penne with roasted green beans and pearl onions. We're not having green pork. Just do what you gotta do. Mm, 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 mm. 
You guys have seen me eat these 9 million times. So if you guys want to try out Factor, head to factor75.com or you can click the link below and use code SamanthaJo50 to get 50% off your first Factor box and free wellness shots for life. That's two free wellness shots from three different available flavors for every single order while you're an active member. Once again, you can head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code SamanthaJo50 to get 50% off your first Factor box and free wellness shots for the day. A huge thank you to Factor for sponsoring this video. I love you guys. And if you've watched me for a long time, you know that. But now we can get back into the vlog. I should really look at my schedule and do something that's actually on schedule. This is a very humbling look. I am realizing that there has to be an intro clip for the beginning of this vlog, where it is. I don't know if I had to guess, it's on the same memory card as the main camera Bora Bora footage, which I haven't given up hope on. But at this point I might, if you guys follow me on my other socials, I have talked about this Bora Bora vlog. I filmed on my G7X, I filmed on my GoPro, I filmed on my phone, and I filmed on that bad boy right there. The camera back there had the memory card that had me talking to you guys, me showing the room. I filmed a Q and A. What Whatever memory card was in there is either missing or the footage is corrupt. That is why there hasn't been a Bora Bora vlog yet. I vlogged it for you, I promise. I do have all the other footage, so worst comes to worst, you're just gonna get very hectic Bora Bora vlog from what I'm able to piece together from the other stuff. I think the intro to this video was on that memory card as well because I cannot find it. Essentially, I made myself a schedule for Monday in this video to see if it would help me get more things done and stay on track and be more productive. And of course it worked. None of the rest of the days in this video did I make a schedule. Monday I did. And Monday is the one day in this video that I was productive. So take this as my advice to you. Make yourself a schedule. I'm making myself schedules from now on, period. Oh, sorry, last tangent. Another update, the wall was painted white. The cover for this is in my pile of things to wash. It's not fully finished yet. We have to do another coat. We just haven't had time to do it yet. I found these on Facebook Marketplace yesterday. I have had such a hard time finding nightstands. I don't love these for this room. I actually am gonna use them in the guest room. Until we can get nightstands for this room, these are gonna have to do. So if you're looking at them and you're like, those don't match, I know they don't match. It's a set of two. I've been looking at so many furniture stores and for a set of two, it was like $3,000 everywhere. Excuse me. I got those for 300, not each together. I did find two that I really liked for in this room. The order time was just like two months. I've been setting my water bottle on top of this ledge because the ledge is actually kind of thick up here. This way. Dobby goes up there every single night, knocks it down and it hits me in the head. But if I put the water bottle on the ground, the dogs will lick it. <sighs> I didn't want to buy nightstands that I just wasn't going to have a use for. I've been religiously checking Facebook Marketplace because it's just so much cheaper to buy furniture on there. I found those. I knew they would work for the other room. They're kind of small for how big this bed is. They'll have a use after we're done with them. Very happy with my purchase. Now I think I've given enough updates for a lifetime. Drink water. It makes me so scared to put you up here. If you fall, I'll cry. This camera was my life savings. See, this is my issue. I'm going to talk to you all day, have enough footage today for an hour long video on its own, and then I can't do a week in my life. Well, who cares? Whatever happens, happens, I guess. I have not been on my phone, except for I called my sister this morning. We usually have like morning debriefs. I talked to Annika a little bit on my walk. Where did Piper go? Piper! Whenever they get quiet, I get suspicious. I was really good about not going on my phone in the morning at the beginning of the year. I got bad at it. I completely ditched shit and I started scrolling again. Like clockwork, the negative mindset came back. Back to not scrolling on our phone in the morning. It's now 10 a.m. 10 a.m. already. I need to come up with my meals for the week. And the way that I do that, as if I'm like someone you should ever get meal ideas from, is I just go on TikTok and I look up dinner ideas. It's really that simple. If you guys own any cookbooks that you like and you try the recipes out of them, them. If it's your go-to cookbook, like it taught you a lot, please leave recommendations in the comments because I gotta stop getting my recipes from TikTok and I gotta start getting them from books. I got one from the thrift store like two weeks ago. I'm gonna try making some stuff from that, but I trust you and your opinions way more than I trust TikTok. So help a girl out. If you have any really good recipes you think I should try, food that might impress my man and my belly, please either comment the recipes or DM them to me. That's all. I write it down in my notes and then I make a grocery list because if I don't make a grocery list, I'm gonna get stuff I don't need and then I'm gonna go to make the meal and not have everything that I need. Does that make sense? This is just one of my stay at home girlfriend tasks. I'm telling you guys, it's crazy how much I have found peace and love and joy in being a homemaker. Cleaning the house yesterday, I filmed it for work, but I would prefer to clean the house and not film because then I can have a podcast on, I can have music on, 
on, which I don't film myself every time I do stuff. But don't get it, be nice. Cooking dinners. I'm gonna make cookies today. I get to decorate the house. I get to play with my animals. I just feel like I'm living such a dream life. And it took a lot to get here. Y'all have watched me struggle. I get to crochet it. I get to build Legos. I've just felt so grateful recently. I used to have so much free time because I just wouldn't do anything. Like I wouldn't really work. I had no hobbies. I felt so useless. And now I just feel like I have a purpose. Like I have purpose in creating content for you guys and just hanging out with you and helping you guys get through life. You tell me that I do that. I find purpose in being able to create a home and a family which I'm not pregnant, I consider you guys my children. I say that in every video, but I just have been really happy recently. Even though I'm still struggling on the ADHD front. Honey, walk up the stairs. I still cannot get medicine. I was able to get that one bottle of Vyvanse and it was fantastic. Maybe one day when the shortage is over, I'll be able to consistently have Vyvanse. I tried switching to a Starist, still couldn't get that. On the GLP-1 Zepbound front, I'm supposed to be able to, supposed to be able to pick up my shots today because once again, there's a shortage on that too. I've missed half of a week. I was supposed to take it on Wednesday. It's Monday. So I've almost missed a week of that. It's okay. It's okay. I'm going to plan out my meals for the week and then I have to clean the toilets. Make sure you're drinking water today. Oh, look. I get so distracted. I've unlocked a new crochet stitch. Look, how pretty is this? This is one of the sleeves to the sweater I'm making. I've made both sleeves. I started the first panel of the body. The body is five flowers long and it'll be four flowers tall. I have to make two of those. They do take me a minute. I am new to this. The sleeves were four by four. I had to adjust pattern a little bit to be bigger. I figured this would be like the perfect airy summer sweater. You're just happy to be here. I'm just a girl. I'm just a girl in the world. Ew. Ew. Does he like miss? There's pee all over the rim. Is this what it's like living with a man? I didn't think I'd have to wash the outside. And there's no garbage can. Am I ready for this? Icky. I got a little bit overwhelmed trying to pick out meals. For some reason, I just, I can't right now, but I was able to pick something for dinner. I ordered everything that I need to make stuffed bell peppers tonight. I don't know why it just sounded good. I cleaned the toilets, that way I could reward myself with making the cookies. I have my kitchen aid ready and everything. And uh, I pulled up the recipe and it, and it said that the, Whoa. I should have looked at the recipe earlier. I need this stick of unsalted butter and this egg to be room temperature. I don't know how long that takes, but I'm gonna let them sit out for an hour. And if this is not softened by then, I'm gonna have to put it in the microwave. I'll be back for you. Maybe I can put it in the sun. I just set it on the table where the sun streaks are coming in, so we'll see if it's softened. Hey, no. I'll check back in with you in an hour. I have an unexpected waiting period. Don't go on your phone. Check the schedule. I could start my Legos. That's a good idea. I called the pharmacy and I can go pick up my Zepon shots. I switched to like a small pharmacy and they seem to be able to get the medication better. I kind of want to see if they could get my Vyvanse. My Instacart order just arrived. Ground sirloin. I don't know if I'm going to use this. A couple of the recipes I saw use this, but I think the one that I settled on didn't, but it was already in my cart. It probably doesn't hurt to have. Beef bouillon. Anytime I can put this in something, I put it in. Crushed red pepper. It's just so good. I only got a little can of tomato sauce. Gerald doesn't like red sauce, but I know he likes stuffed peppers and all of the recipes that I found use this and he's even made them before. I got a can of this. I'm going to try something. I got plenty of peppers. I have some Alfredo sauce in the pantry and I know he likes Alfredo sauce. It might be weird of me to do, but I'm going to take half of the mixture and use Alfredo sauce and half using the tomato and we'll see if it's any good. Some Parmesan cheese. The girl mentioned lemons. It can brighten up the mixture if it's too Rich. I'm still learning. Fresh parsley and a block of just cheddar cheese. Everything else I have here. I'm using it later. It doesn't have to be neat. I also got a PR package. Some of you love seeing these. Some of you don't. How do you say this? Lositon, Lositon, Lokiton. This package has Braille on it. I've actually never seen a company include Braille on a PR box or just a box in general. I see you, Lositon. Before we went to Bora Bora, me and my mom stopped into the, I can't, I'm, I'm saying it wrong. The Lositon store in the mall. I almost bought this. It was just expensive. It's the Immortel Reset, Overnight Reset Oil and Serum. Also, ooh, a shower oil, a proactive youth skincare and 
enriched emulsion for pores and fine lines. The hand cream. My mom bought the hand cream. It is. Oh, it's a big girthy one. This is so good. Whenever I go on planes, my hands get so dry. I made her leave it on the center console in between the two of us because I was asking for it so much. I have band-aids on my nails that got all messed up. I'm trying not to get it on there because I don't have that many band-aids left and the lotion will make it fall off. Thank you, Lassiton. That was a good distraction. I was setting up for Legos and I was sitting there. I'm like, why am I so nauseous? Why do I not feel great? I haven't had breakfast. I've got to heat them up for a second. They've been sitting there. I really don't have any groceries here since I've been traveling. I have some soup cans and stuff to make pasta, but that just doesn't sound like breakfast. I just happen to have two freezer burnt waffles left in the freezer. Gonna have to do. The reality is. If Gerald was here, I'd probably come up with a better breakfast, but it's just me. I also always remember to unplug my toaster after I use it now because I had the same toaster in pink, but it was not the four slice version. I had it plugged in when the power went out and it broke it. Unplug your appliances. I've also heard of people's air fryers, which I'm not trying to like fear monger anybody, but I've heard that air fryers start on fire a lot too. Just make sure you're unplugging your appliances. That is not something that I used to do. I used to leave everything plugged in. I'm learning little things as I get older. Unplug your stuff. You probably already do, but this is just a reminder. I'm gonna sit down, build my Legos, eat my waffles. That's as far ahead as I'm gonna allow myself to think because I will stress myself out. One step at a time. I finished bags 13. All I have left for this house is 14. I checked out my butter and it's not quite ready yet. So I think we're gonna run to the pharmacy to get our medicine, come back here, cookie time, and then we'll finish the Legos. I don't know why I'm nervous. I want to impress him with my cookie. Three fourths of a cup. Oh, I don't have enough softened butter. Oh no, Samantha Joe. Why would one stick not be one cup? That was aggressive, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to microwave it. What's the paddle attachment? Oh, I'm not a baker. Ew, what has been hurt? This is what we're gonna use. I don't know if it's right. Add the butter. Well, that melts it a little bit. Beat the butter, brown sugar. Hmm. Three fourths of a cup of packed dark brown sugar. Two, three. That was way messier than I thought it would be. Clean as you go, people. The other sugar. Okay. Okay. I know this isn't a paddle attachment. Should I look that up? What is a paddle attachment? Kitchen aid paddle attachment. Oh, no, this is the paddle attachment. I knew that. I'm so good at this. Locker in place. On what speed? Medium speed until combined and creamy. About two minutes. Okay. If you say so. Let's just start slow. Is that medium? That's medium. Ooh, that's combined and looks kind of creamy. Beat in the egg and vanilla. One egg, two teaspoons of vanilla. One, two. Turn it back on. Let me know if you need help. It says to scrape the sides down. That way everything mixes together. I never knew that having a KitchenAid would make baking so much easier. Now if they're messed up, I can blame the machine. She's going to the side for now. In a separate bowl, I need another bowl. Ooh, I need a lot of flour. One, two, get out of here. It says I only need two teaspoons of cornstarch. Oh my God, what is cornstarch? <laughs> Why is it sticky? One, two, three, four. I'm only putting it in there because it can't be in there for flavor. It has to have a different purpose. So I'm assuming it's important. Baking soda and salt. Half teaspoon of salt. Whisk together until combined. Now I can't tell them apart. I'm gonna have to whisk with my heart. That rhymed. <laughs> Back in action. I need to slowly mix this in. Let's just stir. But how slow is slow? Ooh, it's thick. 
She a thick boy. She is a thick boy. What's over there? You see that over there? To your right? Such a pretty bee. Ooh, these smell good. A cup of dried cranberries. That is a shit ton. Three fourths of a cup of white chocolate chips. That's some bullshit. If it was my recipe, I would do a one to one ratio. Uh oh. A couple extra fell in. What you gonna do? Throw it away. Beep. Can I get sick from this? Oh no. How do I get it off? I didn't think I'd be fighting a KitchenAid today. Now it goes into the fridge to chill for an hour, and then we can bake them. I'm starting my dinner prep. Gotta turn these peppers into bowls. Some people just filled it up like this. Others cut it in half, like that. I don't know. That's the last of the cookies. What are you doing? Are you just chilling? And you're chilling? You're both being so good. These are nice, big, girthy peppers. Feels like I'm gutting a pumpkin. I would love to be able to grow my own vegetables. I know I can, I just don't think I'd keep them alive, especially in the Florida heat. Maybe I'll attempt it this year though. Four peppers ready to go. We're gonna do oh, one and a half cups. I'm washing the rice because if I don't, you yell at me, even though I genuinely don't know the purpose. Again, there's gotta be an easier way. This is it, I'm done. That has to be good enough. This is my first time using a rice cooker. I'm assuming it's like an instant pot. It was only like 20 bucks. Also adding some salt. I don't know why. Maybe that's when you boil pasta. I guess I just let it sit there. I really don't know. Keep in mind, this is my first time making this and I have no clue what I'm doing. I burnt my fingers in the oven making cookies. Really starting to hurt. I'm adding garlic. All the recipes that I saw had onions. Both me and Gerald are in agreement that we don't like onions. Wildcat. When I went to Jaden's wedding in Wisconsin, that was the day that I discovered people actually eat raw ground beef in Wisconsin, like on crackers. I always heard about it growing up. I thought it was a myth. They go to the butcher, ask for Wildcat, they get super fresh ground beef, put seasonings in it, put it on crackers or on a bun, and they eat it. It's a different breed in the Midwest. I'm chopping up the beef. Why is the inside brown? Every time I cook a meal on here, somebody in the comments tells me to get a nutritionist. While I very well may benefit from that, my belly keeps turning it down. Oops. I'm starting by putting some salt and pepper. Beef bouillon. Can it hurt? If he says there's something in it that he doesn't like, I'm blaming the bouillon. This is the easiest thing ever to make rice. I'm gonna put a little bit of garlic salt. It's giving hamburger helper. That's the beauty of cooking versus baking. Cooking, you can mess around and have fun. Brushed red pepper, a little bit of chili, paprika. Let's try this one. Mmm, that's good. I forgot to do the cheese. This is them. Now I'm gonna put them in the oven until they're all brown and bubbly. According to the girl on TikTok. <sighs> now I just have a massive mess to clean up. done today. Quite the switch up from yesterday. I've just been sitting here. So I took my shot last night and every time I've gone up a dose, I haven't had an issue. I'll be nauseous 
this around 1 a.m. last night. Skip forward if you're easily triggered, okay? I'm just being real and honest and raw because I do actually get a lot of questions of people asking me like what my symptoms are. And I feel like I've been super lucky and have avoided all of the like really bad ones. <laughs> you guys, oh my God. It was so bad. I got up to go to the bathroom, number two, straight water. It sounded like water. I said, oop, that's not good. Five minutes later, maybe not even, I had to do it again. I think by the sixth time that I had gotten up in like 15 minutes, I decided to move out onto the couch so I wouldn't wake Gerald up. And then the, you know, started so many times. My hole has never been so wrong. And all day today, I've been sleeping, taking medicine. I kind of have to stay in a laying down position because if I sit up, it trickles out. The pups have just been hanging out with me. Gerald came home from work and made sure I had medicine. Right now, he's currently at Olive Garden trying to see if they'll give me chicken gnocchi soup without the gnocchi. Piper has been so calm. Like I was telling you guys yesterday, she just has so much energy. When you do not feel good, your dogs know. They're right. I transferred to the couch around noon, maybe. I was able to make it down the stairs. I brought my crochet stuff with me thinking maybe I would at least crochet if I can't be productive in any other way. I haven't even been able to get myself to do that. This is not fun. I'm gonna be quite honest with you. If this is how I feel next time, I will not be staying on this dose. I will be going back down to 7.5 because it's just not worth it. Andrew is currently driving here. He's not gonna get here till super late. We have to film the podcast tomorrow. I don't know how I'm gonna do that. I'm hoping I'll feel better. Okay, it's one big happy family, huh? Oh, I see you. I know I was boring today, huh? I didn't even play with you at all. <sighs> Why am I so out of breath? I made it to Wednesday. There was a few moments yesterday where I really didn't know if I was gonna make it, which is so dramatic, but that was really not fun. Hold on. Perfume of the day. Perfect from Marc Jacobs. I'm so happy yesterday is over. Oh, do I hear my favorite human? I ended up taking a unisom last night because I had essentially slept all day yesterday. By the time it was time to actually sleep, I couldn't sleep, so I took a unisom. I had the best night's sleep. I don't feel 100%, but I definitely feel better enough to get ready, and sometimes, honestly, getting ready it helps me feel better. It tricks my mind. I have not gotten around to cleaning this room yet, but this is today's outfit. Dress is anthropology. I'll have it, or no, the dress is free, people. I get those two mixed up a lot. I'll have it linked. I need to buy short socks, so I don't really have any. These are just Adidas cream-colored shoes. I'll link them as well. I can't survive without these. It's a problem. I also attempted to do something cute with my hair. We need to go to the mall because Andrew needs clothes for the podcast and I figured I'd dress for the occasion. It's also a good excuse to get those socks. Did you get all wet? I'm so sorry. I forgot we set the sprinklers to run during the day. Lunch time. We went to Shake Shack. Samantha, I get the fries that fall to the bottom. I didn't get fries. Oh, why? I don't know. I think I panicked. I'm just too skinny for French fries. Right. So one of the things my shot has been doing is giving me food aversions. The smell mm. of bacon is so bad. I love a nice bacon pot. How do you not get it done well? No. I forgot to add pickles too. Talk to me about it, I'll cry. Mm. Everyone don't look at the amount of salt I put on. I'm not a big sugar person. Salt, I will snort. Is salt not good for you? I add salt to everything. I mean, it's it's a flavor enhancer. I honestly have nothing to say. I just wanted you guys to consume with us. Okay, so what do you feel like your biggest life achievement I can't, is so far? I can't do anything until you pop this ball. No, I, I did yesterday. I think it's you back. should do it again. I need tweezers. Oh, you're just going to do it Oh, fingers. boy. How do people talk and eat? I go into a different dimension, I think. Well, I can't multi- I can't do really? anything while I do anything. I cannot have the radio on while I'm driving if I don't know where I'm going. Oh, same. I drove things I'm crazy. If, if a lot starts going on or like there's traffic, the radio has to go. Oh yeah, traffic. Comment down below what you had for lunch today. And if you're gonna comment you didn't eat lunch, don't skip freaking meals. Go eat. Andrew said so. Mm-hmm. Don't my unibrow. I'm gonna you can't plug see it. it. I'm gonna your, plug it for the podcast. I made Andrew come get coffee with me at Willa's, one of my favorite places in Tampa. While Andrew got ready to film, I sat my arse on the couch and crocheted because I don't think you guys understand. Stand. All I do is crochet now. So many ideas for crochet videos. I'm just trying to learn how to film them. I sat and crocheted for a while and then we filmed the podcast. I feel like I don't talk about the podcast enough. If you didn't know, me and Andrew have a podcast. It's called Sidetracked. New episodes go up every Monday. It's such a passion project for us and we've been having so much fun with it. I've been meeting so many of you guys who say the podcast has just become a part of your weekly routine. It just makes me so happy. If you ever are missing me on YouTube or you're missing me on TikTok or Instagram or wherever, we have hour long podcasts once a week on Mondays. So yeah, I just wanted to give that little shout out here. I feel like I don't talk about it enough. Where this picks up is right after we finished filming 
Wednesday night. Oh, hello. Hi. Oh, he did it. Oh, he did it. Really rough. Let's go this way. Really rough. Somehow it's 7 p.m. on Thursday. I have not vlogged a single thing for today. Keep in mind, this is my first ever week in my life where I'm actually filming every day, okay? I ended up getting my period this morning. Y'all were here for me being sick two days ago. Yesterday, I was okay, but we were honestly just busy with podcast stuff. Today, we had to film another episode of the podcast. I also spent the morning doing sponsorship stuff. I'm not in the best mood. The people who get it, get it. I usually mentally prepare for this very special time of the month. I'm usually so good about wearing my aura ring, which helps me track my periods. I can, I know when it's coming. I have such a strong PMS. I'm not the worst during my period. Honestly, today I've kind of been in a mood, if we're being honest with ourselves. I don't know what mood it is. I'm not necessarily angry, but I'm not happy either. Regardless, I've gotten my work done, but I'm just, I could skip today and that would be fine. We just got a late start to the day. We thought we were gonna film early in the morning. And honestly, I don't know why we ever think that because Andrew takes a long time to get ready. I took a long time today because of work stuff and just the inconvenience of finding out I had my period first thing in the morning. That is one way to ruin a morning. I had a whole morning planned just like Monday, right out the door. What did I do instead? You're looking at it. I finished the first body panel. I'm working on the second body panel, AKA the last panel before we can stitch this freaking sweater together. I don't know if I showed you the start of the first body panel, but all it is is a chain. And then you start off with a row of double crochet into every stitch on the chain. I am not a crochet teacher, but but I sure think it's fun. This also isn't my pattern. I need to find out who's the original maker of the pattern because the video I watched wasn't the original girl who had the pattern. That was just a pattern she had got from somebody else. Each of these flowers, like this is one flower, right? That's one, is 25 chain. The body, I'm making mine five flowers wide, four flowers tall. I have a really short torso and I want it to be cropped. I had to make the starting chain 125 chains on. For my sleeves, I did four four by four. So that's what the arms are gonna look like. That chain was a hundred. So I did two chains of a hundred, four flowers tall, and then this is my second chain of 125, and it will be four flowers tall, if that makes any sense at all. Other crocheters, I know you're gonna get this. I know you're gonna feel my pain here. When you have to count out how many chains you specifically need, I have to restart at least 90 times. I'm not confident that this is the right amount of chains long. If it's off, it's only off by one or two, but I'm going to make it work. The first body panel that I made somehow ended up being like 10 chains too long. I don't know how that happened, but it worked out just fine. So whatever life throws at me, I'm gonna make it work. What I'm doing right now is genuinely the most annoying part of the whole thing. I hate starting into a single chain, if that's even the right wording. The third row is so much easier than the second. First row is so easy making the chain other than the counting part. Honestly, that's probably why so many of you guys are like, I can't get past the second row. Let me tell you, if you can get past that damn second row, it gets so much easier. So just don't give up at the second row because you're about to get to the good part. Other crocheters might not agree with me, but I'm in the second row struggle bus with you guys. I started like full time, full time crocheting. I started just really learning how to crochet in January. I dabbled in it like a tiny, tiny, tiny bit in the fall. I didn't learn shit, okay? Really, I truly started in January. At the end of March, it'll be three full months that I've been crocheting. Like, there's been weeks in there where I haven't crocheted because I've been busy. I made a blank. It. I made two purses. I've made hats. I'm about to finish my first sweater. I think I'm doing pretty good for three months in. I can't wait till I'm an old grandma. This is my update for you. I'm still crocheting. My life has not got more exciting since the last time you saw me. We did get two episodes of the podcast film though. So pat on the back for us because this whole season, we're not really calling them seasons, but since we switched to sidetrack, we haven't been ahead at all. We actually had to post the episode a day late this week. We double filmed. That way we'd be at least one week ahead like if anything happens, but I think next week we're also gonna try and double film. We also bought tickets, which I don't know when this video will be going up, but we bought tickets, which I hope are real tickets. The canceled podcast tour in Tampa next Tuesday. 
Andrew will be back for that. I got them from SeatGeek, so I feel like, can SeatGeek be fake? But they're shipping them to me. I've never had a ticket for a show that I'm going to or a concert. That's like a physical ticket. I mean, maybe back in the golden days. Or not golden days, golden days. But it's been a minute. I'm excited for the weekend though. I want to enjoy the outdoors this weekend. I got new beach chairs. So stinking cute. I saw Clara. I don't know if you guys follow her on Instagram or TikTok. She lives in St. Pete. Cutest little family. She posted she got these chairs. I said, me too. So I bought them. I think we made it to the end. And I left. Oh, I'm not gonna have to do that ever again unless I make another sweater. It's gonna be a very wide sweater. Did I need to make it this big? She's gonna be loose and breezy. Perfect for summer. Row three, we just chain two, flip our work, yarn over, stick it in the hole. Then you chain two, you're gonna skip two, yarn over and do a double crochet into the third space. Now you have a little hole. I'm actually really curious to hear like what you guys do. Cause like I crochet to fill my time. I build Legos to fill my time. Like what is it that you guys do to fill your time? Cause also I don't think you can ever have enough hobbies. Maybe your hobby will inspire not only me, but maybe somebody else who's reading the comments who's looking for a hobby and maybe like crocheting and Legos aren't for them. Maybe you guys can inspire them with your hobbies. So like let us know down below what you guys do at home to pass your time when you're just chilling and you don't want to be scrolling on TikTok. Chocolate covered strawberry. I know it was Snack City. Is it stuff for a bath? Period snacks. That was very nice of him. Maybe I'll just try one strawberry. Mm hmm. I guess today is not so bad. Happy Friday. Because of the way this week has gone, I have made the executive decision that me and Gerald are gonna spend the weekend at Disney World. The perk of being a pass holder is you can go whenever you want. We only live like an hour away. Not necessarily a weight update, but just a little weight loss update that I have for you guys. I'm officially in the 240s. I don't think you understand the last time I was 240 something pounds. Actually high school. At the end of April, hopefully I've lost a little bit more weight I would like to ideally be in the 230s and that gives me like two months to lose 10 pounds at the end of April Annika's coming to visit I'm kind of making it a big thing maybe I shouldn't just in case I don't fit I want me Annika Andrew Jarrell all of us to Universal and I want to ride some roller coasters because I remember fitting on roller coasters when I was 230 like five pounds in high school I remember it not being an issue for the past few years I've been like low 280s low 300s somewhere in between there just teetering around I don't fit on the roller coasters anymore. Now there are some, I believe that they've adapted to have bigger seats, like the Hulk I was able to ride. A lot of them you can't. It hasn't been worth it for me to spend the money to go to Universal when I can't fit on anything. And then it's not fun for Gerald to go to Universal with me. He doesn't want to just leave me standing there by myself while he waits in line for a ride, nor does he want to ride by himself. It's not something that he's made me feel bad about. It's just one of those things that I feel bad, that if I were to have like a kid right now, I couldn't go ride roller coasters with them. My boyfriend loves roller coasters and he doesn't get to experience that. It's never something he'd make me feel bad for. It's just something like I want to experience that with him and my weight is something that has kept me from doing certain things and riding roller coasters is one of them. It's been a huge motivator. I want to be able to experience those things. I've never in my life been skinny. I don't see myself ever getting to a point where I'm like small. I just want to be healthy. I want to be at a point where my weight doesn't keep me from doing things anymore. A lot of you guys have asked me what my goal is. Right now it's 200. I got to 200 pounds. I will have lost 100 pounds. I've almost lost 60 pounds, which is crazy because I keep seeing videos of myself and pictures of myself. Like I didn't realize what I had looked like. And I, I'm not saying I wasn't beautiful. I was, and I still am. I was just so uncomfortable in my body. And there are some things that I'm still obviously uncomfortable with. I have a long ways to go, but the difference in how much better I feel and how much easier it is to do things. The hump on the back of my neck was getting so uncomfortable. Like I could just feel my neck all the time. I felt claustrophobic in my body. Something I always have to remind you guys of, even though I might not be small, my body is small. My frame is small. I'm 5'1". Weight shows super fast on me. Also with my PCOS, I carry a lot of weight in my stomach. Like living in Florida, being out in the heat has gotten so much easier. I can enjoy being outside in the summer and I'm not uncomfortable. Regardless, I love the summer, but I just had to kind of suffer through it, if that makes sense. Versus now I can go out and 
enjoy it. It's still hot, but it's nowhere near as miserable. I'm starting to understand like how people can be outside in the summer more. When it comes to size in Disney World, maybe that's a reason I've loved Disney so much is because for one, it's just a magical place. People have opinions on adults going to Disney without kids. I simply don't want to hear it, okay? It makes me happy. I get steps in at Disney World. It's something me and my boyfriend have found that we just really like to do together. I don't know why we have so much fun at Disney World, but we do. I met Samantha at Disney World. Like, it just is such a special place for me. And so we've been pass holders for almost a year. In June, we have to renew it. We have the Incredible Pass and we just pay for it monthly. It's $100 a month. I have milked that pass in the past year, okay? I have gotten my money's worth out of that pass. I haven't had issues with rides at Disney, even at my highest weight, except for one ride. In 2021, I went to Disney with Gerald's family. We did find the passage, which if you guys don't know what that is, it's in Animal Kingdom. It's a ride where essentially you get to like fly your own little banshee. It is virtual, but the way that you're sitting on it is kind of like a motorcycle or a bike. You're sitting in it and you're leaning into it. And now you can't see that because this isn't wide angle. But I believe when I went with his family, I weighed around 285-ish in May of 2021, I think fit on the ride. It was fine. It was a little bit tight on my calves, but nothing too bad. And then I went back with my sister and my mom. It was for Playlist Live in 2022 or 2020. I don't remember. When I went with them, we had my sister's kids with us. So we had to do parent swap. So me and my sister went while my mom stayed with my nephews because only two of them were born at that point. So she stayed with them while we waited in line. My sister had never been on it before. My mom had never been on it before. We got to the front. We got into the cars. And my Mind you, like I was confident. I was the same weight that I had fit on it the last time. So I was completely confident going into this. Like normally being plus size, I do get anxiety when it comes to if I'm gonna get to the front of the ride and have to do the walk of shame and not fit on it. I know a lot of you guys understand that feeling because a lot of you have DM me about your trips to Disney, like ask what rides are fat friendly versus not. I'm also not afraid of the word fat. So I'm gonna say fat. Most of them are very plus size friendly. And even if they're not plus size friendly and you don't fit when you get to the front of the ride, they give you a free lightning lane to get on a different ride because you didn't wait in line for that ride and they're typically very sweet kind and understanding about it and they want to make sure that it doesn't ruin your experience I got into where you get on the actual banshees or the bikes I sat down they came to close the calf hugging little thingy I don't know what it is and it wouldn't launch she had me take my shoes off to see if that would help there was nothing we could do I simply didn't fit on the ride now in this situation you would think you're almost in like a container full of these no one else can start the ride until you like get off essentially everyone is on these bikes staring at me i pick up my shoes and i go to like walk out to wait for my sister because i didn't want her to get off the ride because she's never got to ride it i want her to ride it and she was already like strapped in she very loudly tells me to stop i have to stop and put my big chunky high top converse on right there while everyone's staring at me waiting it's been a while so i don't remember exactly what she said mostly because i am the queen of dissociating she made some comments along the lines of me wasting their time this is why like i shouldn't have even tried to ride in the first place like i'm holding things up i was very distraught but i was already so embarrassed having her say these things underneath her breath so she thought while i'm bending over putting my shoes on like everybody knows why i have to get off the ride i'm too big for it i sat outside of the ride and waited for my sister it ruined my whole day i felt so gross and was mean to myself about it all because of how that cast member acted i called sam because she had just stopped working at disney at that time and i kind of asked her like if that was a normal experience because that didn't feel good are they supposed to be treating me this way i get that i have to get off i'm not questioning the safety of if i don't fit i have to get off like it's not safe for me to go on if i don't fit but i'm questioning like there was no other way you could have brought that up quietly helped me gather my things and get off i have not attempted to go back on flight of passage ever since i've been on some other rides that people say aren't as plus size friendly at disney like mine trains i fit on mine trains when i was pretty heavy keep in mind we all carry our weight so different 240 pounds on me might look different than 240 pounds on someone that's like all muscle or is taller it's more about your body shape i feel like and so because i carry a lot of my weight in my stomach like on my lower body that's where a lot of these bars come it does create an issue so i did not think i was gonna fit on mine train i did with my big old belly i'm able to ride guardians I mean, i've been able to ride everything i have not even attempted to ride tron mostly because i've heard it's not that good anyway and it's not plus size friendly i heard it was very similar to flight of passage in the way that you're almost 
sitting on a bike well with tron you are sitting on a bike they do have a cart on tron if you're visiting with your family and you're plus size i believe at the back where you can sit and ride if you don't fit on the bike to me that's just not worth it if i'm going to go through the pain of going in a virtual queue or paying extra for a lightning lane just for Tron. I want to ride the actual ride. So that's one that I've been saving. I don't know that I'm going to attempt to ride it this weekend. I wonder if they have test cars for Tron. Maybe I'll look that up and let you know. I don't go to Magic Kingdom a lot anymore, honestly. Hollywood and Epcot are my favorite parks. They have the best rides. Gerald's had a long couple weeks at work. I have not been in the best of moods. I feel like this is one of the perks of living close to Disney World is you can just get them when you want to go. I want to go to Disneyland in California so bad. I just avoid LA as much as possible. I always giggle when I get comments of people begging me not to move to LA. It's just funny to me because you couldn't pay me to move to LA. Something batshit crazy would have to happen for me to move there. It's not for me. It really isn't. And that's not me hating on people who love LA. If you love it, that's great for you. I don't. But that's why there's a million places in the world that you can live. We don't all have to like the same places. Gerald's at lunch with some work friends right now. I'm just getting ready. I think I'm gonna go get my nails done. Because you want to go for two days, I did look up to see if there were any cheap Airbnbs and we were able to find one for honestly scary cheap. I really hope it's fine. It had good reviews, okay? That way we're not having to drive all the way home and that way the dogs aren't left alone all day. Usually I have a girl that will come in and like let them out and spend time with them. If I don't have to do that, I'd rather not. And I am somebody who if I'm going to go to more than one park in a day, I need to come home and take a break. I need a little afternoon pick me up before my evening session. We just got an Airbnb. Because of the dogs, I had to book it for tonight as well because check-in isn't until 4 tomorrow. If you just book it for Saturday night, if that makes sense. After we finish everything here for the day, we'll probably just head down. Which also makes waking up and getting ready to go to the park by open so much easier. I just want to feel a little bit of magic. We're going to go. It's going to be a great time. I can tell. Oh no. My Rare Beauty highlighter is broken. I don't care if I make a mess with my my mascara. You can clean it up with a Q-tip. I have so much respect for people who can wear full faces of makeup to Disney World. I do brows, mascara, and sunscreen. That's my Disney routine. A beach will be sweating. There is nothing worse than sweating and not being able to just like wipe your face off. I will grab extra paper towel from the bathroom just to carry with me to wipe the sweat off my face. I should really just invest in a cutesy little sweat towel. If anybody else has no period, I need you to make me feel better about how unproductive I am the week of my period. I have no energy to do anything. I'm the queen of giving myself such a hard time about it. Where's my big face fan when I need it? I feel like I look orange on that and I swear I don't. This is the best Delaney's butt I could come up with. Maybe it just takes practice. Can I get a small berry burst spark energy? Thank you. A Dunkin' drink I actually approve of. Gerald always likes I don't, but I'll drink this. You gotta treat this place like it's your house, but better, okay? Same goes for you, girlfriend. You gotta treat it like our house, okay? Guess where we are. It's 11.40 p.m. I don't know why I have so much energy. I always am so tired until it's time to go to sleep, and then I could conquer the world. Literally just got to this Airbnb. She's cute. It's dark, so it's kind of hard to show you guys. So yeah, I think I can turn this light on. Okay, that lighting is <laughs> wretched. I actually think this kitchen is so stinking cute. I love the colorful backsplash. The Airbnb also has a pool. Dangling right there is the swimsuit that I'm gonna wear. I don't know if all Targets have swimsuits out already. I feel like Florida Targets get better swimsuits than everywhere else. Maybe just Targets in areas where there's beaches. I have found so many good swimsuits at Target already. I haven't bought a ton of swimsuits yet though, just because my sizes are changing. Honestly, that is a part of this process I didn't expect to be so weird. What do you do when all of your clothes don't fit anymore? I also don't wanna go buy a million swimsuits if I'm gonna need different swimsuits. This is where I'm gonna plant my arse, go to sleep. I have to plug you guys in or you're never gonna make it to Disney. I did bring my crochet. I haven't got any farther than you guys saw though. Gotta plug these headphones in. And even though we're only here for two days, I had to extend my carry-on suitcase. This is getting sketchy. Oh, why is the closet so big? Oh, why is there a... I got scared because there's like a little ledge, but I thought it was a whole loft and there could be somebody hiding up there. Okay, gonna leave it close. Closets give me the spooks. 
pajamas, period supplies, toiletries. The fact that I used to talk to you guys on this camera every day for a year when I started my channel. We've come so full circle. I'm being annoying, but I'm tired. So much needs to happen right now. I don't remember if I vlogged this. I think it was during Vlogmas, so I have to assume I vlogged it. Disney sent me this bag. It's a collab with Stony Clover Lane. And if I'm taking an overnight trip to Disney, I can't not use this bag. Real beauty right there. What do you think? I've never looked better. Nobody talked about how humbling the taking out process is for this hairstyle. I'm gonna go to sleep. update you guys that we just spent at least 30 minutes maybe 45 minutes searching for my phone that I left in the back of Expedition Everest I'm sorry that's false advertising that does not look like the picture something is not right here Oh, he's chilling. Where do we interrupt? This is literally me and like a pound. Six feet long at the shoulder, which is about the same height as your arm. I attempted to drink around the world, I didn't win. I'm a little fucked up. I lose. I'm gonna still try and hang, but I lose. I can't out drink this man. I really did think I could out drink you. I don't know. Wanna know what? I think I could out shot you. Okay. I'm gonna try this. It's a pretzel with cheese and ham. I stopped after four. Gerald's still going. I think this is 10. No, 11. Are you ready for the reveal? One stormy night long ago. I just don't like the anticipation. Like, let's get it over with already. Thank <laughs> you.